Welcome to the art of selling, the art of sales. Well, I've been selling uh, my art uh, about for 40 years and uh, as well uh, start my young life in doing businesses. Uh, the first uh, venture I did was to sell an encyclopedia from the group Ashet. There was a class to uh, learn how to be uh, an artist and uh, there were a series of uh, books and uh, aids and products uh, to paint and we were going from door to door knocking doors and trying to sell this encyclopedia I was one of the best sales guys because I knew how to demonstrate the product but not only that I developed some really good technique uh, using models from uh, sales uh, and also psychology and uh, the model I use uh, is a combination from uh, the IBM model and also uh, the Xerox model. Uh, uh, those companies had hired psychologists to understand uh, the process, uh, processing uh, of information that people has when they doing a purchase. But also uh, use uh, techniques from uh, uh, neuro linguistic. Uh, you know how to apply uh, some techniques. Uh, of uh, strategies to the business to uh, selling uh, one of the very important thing when it comes to sale is to uh, have an idea where you're going making that sale you don't just walk in a place and try to sell a product you have to have a definite idea of where you're going with this negotiation uh, the second thing uh, along with that you have to have uh, some sort of feedback to know where you are uh, in in case the conversation uh, start getting mistrack in different direction you have to come back uh, and know uh, where you are at the time and uh, you're gonna make the change to get back on track and uh, go along with uh, what you had in mind in the beginning uh, whatever the goal of uh, that sale will be Another thing uh, about sales that the the fact that the word uh, sell came from the Norwegian selje which means to serve to the understanding that when you're selling to someone something it's not just about sticking someone a product and walk away with a check but it's to actually serve that person for the need that that person has and uh, the purpose is to actually be serving them in what they anticipating getting from you uh, I don't know if you know that but 80% of the people when you are walking in with a product and they already heard about you I'm not talking about a, a cold sale where you're walking into a you know a, a store and start talking about a product and they had no idea who you were coming from but here I'm talking about uh, a sales where you have to make a previous uh, you know phone call and uh, meeting and you're walking in and the client knows what you're coming to sell them and they already have an approximate idea of what the you know the range of price would be and they already agree pretty much on uh, the product or at least you're selling something which is in the realm of your competition but anyway when it comes to that 80 percent of the people that you are going to meet already have an internal representation of them with the product before getting in the conversation with you so we if i can phrase this in a different way before you walk into you know meeting the person they already make their mind already ahead of the game with them with the product and they already create at least five different system to parade whatever you're going to tell them so it's very important to understand that because it means that if you want to make a sales to that person you're going to have to reconnect them with their internal representation of them with the product answering all these questions that they're going to come along with so this is very important for you to understand how you would put yourself in the shoes of the client to ask those questions that way you can parade and understand how to answer those questions and reunify that person with their internal representation of them with your product. One very important thing is that, uh, you know, sales, it's all about uh, getting connected with your, you know, your client and you probably all heard before that uh, you're not selling a product, but you're selling yourself. Why do people say that? Good salespeople usually don't talk much about the product. They go to dinner, they go to lunch, they talk to uh, the person they're with, and then they agree on uh, you know, some sort of exchange of doing business together in the last minute or the last 10 minutes of, of that uh, lunch, business lunch. And uh, for the simple reason is that 
when a sales doesn't go through it's always a lack of rapport that you have created to that person so if you walk into a you know the office of a client and you just drop the product on the table and start doing demo more likely it's not going to work so you're going to have to establish your rapport with that person it means you have to be connecting because people like to be with people they feel alike so it's more important that you're going to have to make the client feel that he's like you and you're on the same page and you have the, some sort of a acquaintance together some sort of a you know point uh, which are connected that you feel like you are on the same uh, you know vibe and the same uh, uh, intensity of uh, everything so you know this is very important to be in connection and um, you know I don't know if you know that but uh, when uh, people go to trial and there is a murder or some big thing happening the jury already made his mind about the defendant within the first five minutes of their encounter so in a case of sales that's what makes very very important point here you know the support that you're gonna have from that client is gonna be made within the five first minutes so that's even to tell you how much importance there is to be in rapport with that person because if you're not in rapport with that person you're not gonna be able to evolve in the next level which is to maybe demonstrate the product or start talking about what you're there for in the first place so how do you create rapport how do you create connectivity between the two people if you're not really the same kind of people you know you may walk in an office and have somebody very rigid while you are a guy like me who's pretty much easygoing outgoing and so on and a person who is on the other side is completely opposite of yourself so there is a few techniques that I'm going to teach you within that uh, keynote and uh, those techniques are going to be techniques who are based on uh, how to create a relationship with a person who's in the front of you and that's the secret of uh, getting a rapport with that person time where you connect with the other and you try to make uh, that person connect with you at least feel it in a comfort zone with you to feel at ease and those techniques are based on how we are processing the model of our world so we all have different senses and we utilize more one senses than another we at least we are more leaning toward one sense than another some people are more kinesthetic some people are more visual some people are more auditory some people may be more gustative i mean you know we all have an inclination for one more than another and that makes the whole difference between people you know uh, and it makes a big difference also between a person which is an impulse buyer versus a self-talk you know some people have to talk to other people before they make their mind on buying something they have to call their wife they have to call a, a friend they have to talk to someone they have to talk to themselves and go back and forth with the idea am i gonna buy this am i gonna uh, walk away from the sale i don't know about this you know some people need that they need that comfort uh, zone if you push these people they're gonna walk away from you they're on the thing you're pushy person and they're gonna walk away from you they're never gonna make any business with you now if you're an impulse buyer impulse buyer need to be pushed because they're getting a high out of buying stuff and they need to be pushed into a purchase into a sales and i can teach you techniques who are going to really define which one are you going to deal with because if you're dealing with an impulse buyer you're going to have to be able to push that person into the sale and uh, you know if somebody comes to you and is an impulse buyer you're going to just tell him you know well if i was you here we go what about buying this let's sign a contract let's go forward with the deal here but if you're dealing with the other guy who needs the affirmation of others if you're pushing he's going to walk away from you and you're never going to retrieve that sale okay so that's so so important when it comes to sales uh, in uh, that uh, uh, sales uh, keynote, I'm going to teach you a lot of techniques how to close a sale and make it successful. And when you're done with the sales, how to walk away from that sale and feel that the person is okay and reaffirm with that decision that they make instead of walking away from you and uh, and maybe regret it and then uh, bonds the sales when they go back to uh, to the office and uh, cancel it. So it's very important. Also, when you come to a sales, so of course you can sell something to somebody who's not in business and who have no idea of uh, that uh, 
way of being. But when you're dealing with people who are in business and have experience, salespeople quite a bit, you know, they have some expectation of you being a way or another because they have developed some sort of values in themselves being a judge for who you are, you know. So it's very important that you have that ability to walk with confidence into the business uh, meeting and uh, leave no doubt that you're there to deliver and serve them. So it's so important. Uh, some people from the old days have, have that uh, conviction that uh, a person who is a good salesman should look at you in the eyes and have that straight connection eye to eye. If you spot that a person is like this and if you will know how to spot how a person is, you will be able to deliver that way of being than they anticipate and actually be on the first same page with them. So you have to be able to have that confidence and uh, to develop that confidence there is a few uh, special technique I can teach you about that and also you have to be able to assume their sales okay you have to be able to assume and make people feel really confident that you are doing a business on the same level with them and each other have to serve each other so when you're making a sale um, you know it's very important to establish trust between your client your prospect and yourself and you have to be in a special state to get into that uh, meeting so uh, when I say uh, be confident it's a state to be confident and uh, to be in that state I'm going to teach you different tricks uh, which are working perfectly to go from you you know being a confident person into being in that state of being confident before you walk in so I'm gonna teach you how to anchor that into yourself and uh, feel like you have that resource to be utilizing right away when you need it you know so you want to gain that confidence and that trust with that person and uh, to translate that you have to be a uh, mirror and matching with that person in a perfect level that uh, your confidence can translate in him being confident and vice versa and the trust is going to be the same it's going to be a vice and versa trust between the two party so to be able to do this uh, there is a plenty techniques one of the things I'm going to teach you is to use uh, strategies because uh, we all have uh, ways to do things and by repeating uh, ways of uh, learning and uh, applying stuff. Uh, for instance, uh, when um, uh, people buy something, they have an habit of buying some, some things in a certain way, not just being by being impulsive or being self talk but uh, some people need to see a product twice or three times before they make their mind some people need to maybe feel that product or maybe try it or you know some people they just need to see it so we all have different ways to, to do things and uh, some people uh, have adopted if I can call it a strategy how to do a purchase or selling something and I'm going to teach you how to recognize it within the two first minutes how to recognize into someone how they operate and this is a very key important element in the business of making sales or you know purchase if you're on the other side of the of the ladder and uh, it is this, uh, one of the most important understanding and with one simple question you can find out how those people operate so uh, I welcome you to come to my uh, seminars but I also offer keynotes of one hour and also a hands-on session where people can engage in learning these techniques and uh, those uh, workshops last about two hours and uh, to four hours if you want to extend it but uh, those uh, workshops are really efficient because uh, on my keynote I'm going to explain the technique but during the workshop I'm going to pitch you face to face with other people from your company and you're going to be able to practice those things and I actually teach you in that one hour keynote. So uh, welcome to the art of sales and uh, I'm going to tell you every technique that you can use for selling and uh, be a successful uh, salesman and I can guarantee you if you know how to master those techniques you can double your income, number, double your numbers at work and you'll be surprising yourself how great you can become within uh, no time really uh, within a month you'll be transforming completely your way of doing business.